All right, guys, Monday for lunch, I just have some soup. This is canned soup, but it has like beans, not sure, carrots, like vegetables. It's kind of raining today, so I think it's perfect to have soup today. Yeah, this Friday I'm getting every plate. I'm gonna do it two more times. Um, getting this um, roasted bell pepper flatbread. Somebody on YouTube said it was really good. And it's kind of vegetarian, so it's kind of healthy, I think. But it has bell peppers and onions. This one is a gooey stuffed burger. Another YouTuber said this was amazing. There's like cheese inside the burger. And my nephew said he really wants to try this. And then I'm also getting, this is different. So I thought I'd try something different. It looks different. And so that's what I'm getting this Friday. I'm excited. All right, guys, for lunch today, this is a leftover um, tater tot crust roll. Had it in my freezer. This is the last of it until I make another casserole, but um, it's great for one person and it's great for leftovers. It looks really good. All right, guys, for dinner, just a simple dinner. I got some fish sticks. This is from Trader Joe's. Um, these are garlic fries I got from Safeway, really good. I got some tartar sauce and ketchup for the fries and the fish sticks. And a small Caesar salad. All right, guys, I got a package from Running Bear. He sent me uh, one of his shirts, so let's open it up. So Running Bear was really nice to send me a shirt. He told me to, to choose the design of the color, so let me show you what it looks like. Let's take a look at it. All right, that's what it looks like. It's a shirt shirt. Um, I can't wait to wear it in one of my videos. Um, but yeah, check out if you guys want to buy one of his shirts. I'll leave the link in the description. You can check out his shirt, but I really like it a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Runny Bear. Guys, for lunch today, I got a Mr. Pickle sandwich with roast beef. Um, this is what I get before, and it was really good. Half the sandwich, that's all I need. <laughs> all right, guys, for dinner, um, I have this um, shrimp scampi I made like a month ago, put it in the freezer, because it was like too much food for that week for me, and then I have a Caesar salad. It's very simple and easy, yay. All right, guys, it's Friday evening. I got every plate. So I'm gonna show you the three meals I'm getting. Um, so I'll make this tonight. Let's make this. So this is roasted roll pepper flatbreads. I wouldn't normally get this, but um, I saw a review on every plate. Um, somebody on YouTube reviewed it and they said it was this, it was this excellent. I was like, okay, it sounds really good. And now you're supposed to like grill or fry the onions and peppers. So it's kind of fresh. I was gonna make this tonight, but my nephew's coming over. He really wants, I'll show, I'll show you what he wants. He's coming over tonight. Um, this is like um, beef bowls. It has cucumbers and um, carrots. Looks kind of healthy. And this is what um, my nephew wanted. He wanted these gooey stuffed pork burgers. I actually saw a review on YouTube and they said this was amazing. There's like a bunch of cheese inside and it looks really good. So that's tonight. So I gotta go through this and figure out the ingredients for the pork burgers. All right, so we put, put the cheese inside the burger. <laughs> And then we put this part over it. So this is interesting. I never made a burger with cheese inside before. <laughs> it's a potato bun. That's what it looks like. I think it is, yeah. I think, yeah. I think you're right. Sure, good. Good. Who has potato buns? I um, heard it. Who does? does Muya. I... Muya has potato buns. I know they got potato buns. Oh, they do? Mm hmm. So you're supposed to cut it because that's where all the cheese, like, you see all the cheese once you cut it. I want to see how cheesy it is. Well, yours is a lot cheesier. Mm. How's the first bite? Let me take a picture of the fur. Oh! Cheesy, huh? That's no, it's good. Is it really good? It has barbecue sauce, onions. There's cheese inside, although I gave my nephew more cheese because, um, but I do see cheese on yours coming apart, so that's good. Mm-hmm. Is it good with the onions? So freaking good. Let's try it out. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's really good. Better than I expected. Mm -hmm.
All right, guys, here's my breakfast. Hash browns and simple egg scrambled. Yum. All right, guys, it's Saturday around 12, 30 p.m. I just scheduled a massage in 30 minutes, so I'm gonna be doing that. I might go shopping later afterwards. I wanna go to the dollar store. That's what I'm doing today. I have no food at 1 p.m. Oh, macaroni and cheese. All right, these are really cool looking. I like this. This is nice. Let me get this. All right, guys, they have a lot of Christmas stuff already out. Look at these coffee cups. Nice. Guys, I just love these. They're so good. I'm gonna get one. Wow, look at this party mix. That looks good. All right, guys, I have a massage. It was really good, really deep. He did a great job. I just love the place I go to. It's only 50 bucks for an hour. And I could tell he was working hard. He was out of breath, working my lower back. After that, I went to Dollar Tree. I'm gonna show you what I got, a bag of stuff. So uh, first thing, I got this bowl. I really like this bowl um, because it's not, it's like a medium bowl. And I have a small bowls and a really big bowl. I don't have a, a medium bowl like this. So this is really nice if I want a, 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 a bowl like this, like, like this size. All right, I got these party mix. It looks like it's a mix of different flavors. Yeah, let's just try it out. It's good. It's a mix of different flavors or different chips. Nothing too special, but it's okay for a dollar. I got these foil, um, you know, like if I want to make something, if I want to freeze it. I like I did this with a lasagna one time, and it's really cool. Vanilla cookies. <laughs> that this is kind of cool. It's a coffee cup. Life is a beach. Enjoy the waves. <laughs> so, I guess you could put your coffee in there. It's kind of plastic, It's but it's a dollar, so. I know I got these Glad tall kitchen bags before. There was only five of them, but they're just really good quality. So I just got one. A couple of this ha hand towels. I love Mr. Good bars. I don't find them everywhere. So I got some of that. Uh, the Reese's Pieces thing. <laughs> Vanilla milkshake candle. Yep. It's not like a vanilla milkshake. Actually, it comes with a lid, so it looks like a vanilla milkshake. <laughs> so the other day I was at, oh, I was trying to find um, Fettuccine at, at the TV dinner for work, and I they were out of it, but I found this, this broccoli and Fettuccine. It's only a dollar, so I thought this was a good buy. Kind of will organize my closet, so I got, and I thought these blue things would be kind of cool. I got these blue organizers. So I got this as well. So that's what I got at the dollar store, guys. So I've been low energy and I'm hoping the massage will help me and low energy, low focus, no motivation. I don't know, just, just I don't know what's going on with me lately. Now this place is only 15 to 30 minutes for me. It's not so far. Like if I would totally go to Santa Barbara just for the salt cave, <laughs> but that would be like six to eight hour drive, you know? Besides being relaxing, it's supposed to help with your lungs and sick. I thought I thought the stuff, you know. And um the owner was really real I talked to her for like a good twenty minutes on the phone. She was very nice, really nice, really knowledgeable. She said in the past she would always have bad cold symptoms that would lead to pneumonia and the salt caves just cleared it up like that. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try forty five minutes. So the forty five minute session is forty five dollars. Santa Barbara was a little bit cheaper. I was thinking it was I had a group on for nineteen. I don't know if I don't, I think it was either 45 to an hour. I don't remember how many minutes or how long it was. It was close to maybe our 50 minutes. I'm not sure how long. But in Santa Barbara, um, there will be people that you don't know, like strangers. This room is just the one I'm going to tomorrow. I mean, appointment tomorrow is only for you, only like for, like for me only. No strangers. If you want to invite a friend, that's fine, but nobody you don't know. So it's completely safe. Um, and they also do Reiki and massage. Um, I just thought I wanted to, to do the salt crepe right for, for the first time. Maybe I'll do a massage, Reiki or massage after, but 
Then the Reiki massage with the salt, salt cave together is not that expensive. Like Santa Barbara was, I think they were charging $200 a session, like crazy. They're only charging $75 or $85 for like a Reiki session. I think a little bit more for massage. But um, I'm excited. I'm gonna let you guys know what that's doing that like tomorrow. I'm so excited. I just feel like I need some clearing, energy clearing, or I don't know what's going on with me, but I've just been really tired lately. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a nap and I'm gonna wake up and then I'm thinking, I might do my laundry tonight and then I'm gonna make some pizza um, from every plate. I got every plate yesterday, so I'm making the pizza tonight. And so that's what I'm doing today. Tonight's meal, I'll be making this roasted bell pepper flatbread. Well, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. This looks really small for a dinner. Maybe I have this for lunch tomorrow. Let's try it out. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. Really good. Hi guys. For Sunday morning for breakfast, I just made two breakfast tacos. Put some scrambled eggs in there. A little bit of bacon, salsa, and cheese. All right, guys, almost 11 a.m. on a Saturday morning. I'm going to do it like a salt therapy room today for about 45 minutes. I want to check this place out. They also do Reiki and massage in the salt room. So that sounds really amazing. So yeah, let's go. All right, guys, I came back from the salt therapy. Um, after this session, I have to say, I like the Santa, I like the Santa Barbara one better. <laughs> Mainly because, I don't know what it was. It was small. It had my own room myself. I always thought I would really love it. But I kept kind of hearing noises, like, next door, like, to the other rooms. I started trying to, like, organize the rooms. Um, I heard doors closing. I don't know. It, w it wasn't super quiet. I couldn't really relax deeply like what I did in Santa Barbara. This is the closest one in my area and I wanted to try it out. Um, but now I want to go to Winco, guys. I've never been to Winco. I keep on hearing they're really cheap and I thought I would check it out. So yeah, let's go to Winco. Caramel whipped icing. The cake doesn't look. I don't know. That looks good. I might get that. Oh my god! Look how big this popcorn is. That's actually really good though. Actually, oh my god. What dips? A dollar twenty-eight for a dip. What? Still pickle. Guys, this is so cool. They have candy. Jelly beans. Look at this candy, guys. Wow. That's cool. Chocolate gummy bears. That is so cute. Alright guys, I got four bags of um, stuff at Winco. I got some good items. Some, some of the items I never had before, so I'm eager to try it out. Let's we'll start with the macaroni and cheese. These were 98 cents. I mean, I can get these for 98 cents at the dollar store or Walmart. So, it wasn't a big thing, but it's cheap, so... These bagels were $2.98 and they smell so fresh. Um, I think it's called All Broke Bagel. They have these little cute trite coffees for $0.88. Cents. So I thought this is called Candy Can. That'd be kind of fun. Maybe I'll try that tonight. Yeah. This pizza is $0.98. Cents. It's pretty small and looks very thin. But I just thought I would try it out. I never had this brownie before. But maybe it's really good. But it looks really small too. I got this big burrito for 98 cents. 
This Herdale salsa is $2.12. My favorite salsa right now. I don't know. I think it might be cheaper than Walmart. Some prices are cheaper than Walmart, I think. And I think this one is. Got some eggs. They're not organic, but they are brown. These were $2.98. They look like. So now I just try to get organic eggs if I can. Because I don't get a lot of organic items, but. But usually organic meats, at least the beef, half and half, and eggs. I try to get organic if I can. I got these beans for 88 cents. I was craving a bean burrito. I was so hungry when I came home because I, I, I ate lunch like after 2 p.m. Like, no, no. Um, so it's, for lunch, I had this. Oh, my God, guys. Guys, oh, my God. I had this amazing Italian sandwich. Oh, my God. It was like $2.12 or something like that. It was so cheap. Didn't have any mayonnaise or anything, so I added mayonnaise and lettuce. It was so good. There was a lot of meat. Bread was thick and everything was fresh. Man, that was just an amazing deal. Never thought I could get a sandwich that, that quality for $2. It was great. All right, guys. I got these hash browns. Okay, the, re the main reason I went to Winco, the main reason is because um, if you guys follow Mel BCE, she is on a, she's a TikToker. Oh, she, she does TikTok videos. And I saw her video. She said that... Um, Winco has really good hash browns. They're they're just like McDonald's. I was like, oh, that's cool because I got the same exact hash browns like this at Trader Joe's, and they taste nothing like McDonald's. And McDonald's hash browns are so good, it's real salty, they're just so good. So that's the main reason. Mel Busy Eats, if you're watching, thank you. Um, the main reason why I went to <laughs> Winco, I wanted these hash browns. Okay, what else can I get? So these were two ninety eight. I'm eager to try this out too. I was going to add this tomato with my bean burrito tonight, but I, I mean, I, I, maybe I'll have it bean burrito later, but this, this tomato, Roma tomato was 31 cents. Okay, I got some Winko shredded cheese, one ninety eight. I was looking for some cheap tortillas, and these were the cheapest, I think. 20 of them for $2.28, so. So what's cool about um, Winko is they have this, like, a lot of chocolate bars or just snacks. You can just... Put it in a bag and try it out. This is like a chocolate with orange. I thought it would be different, you know. So, got one, two, three, four. I got six of them for 31 cents. So, this one was the most expensive thing I got today. It was $12.98. And it's vegetable chow mein. Thought maybe I could have that. Maybe with an egg roll. That'd be like a really easy dinner. I guess it says to microwave it, and they come in these little bags. So let's check it out. This is what it looks like, guys. So this looks exactly the thing I got at Costco. Guys, I don't know if it is or not, but it looks like it is. I think it was called Wysobi or Wysoba or something. Um, that I used to get at Costco. So how I used to make this, I would just migrate the noodles, then I would put it in a pan. I would add more vegetables to it, just to make it more hearty, you know? Add some more like soy sauce or something like that, or Chinese sauce or something like that. But yeah, so those are small. They can easily fit in my, in my freezer if I take them out, you know? Put that back. So I'm eager to try this out. Let me know if you guys have ever had it before. It's really good. Can maybe have this with an egg roll, it'd be really good. All right, so one half and half, one ninety eight for this. Not a bad deal for this size. She has a really good deal. I think that's, yeah, that's a really good deal actually. I didn't see organic. I would have got organic, but I'm really low, so I decided to get. So I decided to get this. I got four of these paper towels for fifty cents each. So I thought it was a really good deal. And lastly, I got this cake. It has caramel topping. I was so hungry, guys. Um, I had to eat something on the way here, so I had some of this cake. I'm gonna show you, it looks kind of messy, but the frosting stuck is sticking to the plastic. But there's my fork, you can see I, I ate. But guys, it was it's really good. <laughs> For 278, that's really good. The cake is fresh and the caramel frosting is, is really good. Forgot, I think I got some bleach as well for like 498. But everything cost about $52. Um, pretty good deal for four bags, pretty full bags. I have some new items to try. I can't wait to try the hash browns and the bagels and the chow mein. I'm really excited about that. 
And guys, I'm super excited. I want to try a new store today. It's only about 15, 20 minutes from where I live. It's not too far. <laughs> it was very crowded. Very, very, very crowded. And I went on a Sunday. <laughs> so I'll probably see you tonight for dinner. I don't know what I'm going to have because it's 3, 3 p.m. I just had lunch. But I'll see you for dinner tonight. All right, guys, dinner time. It is 7 p.m. I decided to make the pizza. And then tomorrow I'll make my last every, every plate meal. And tonight I'm watching a, a Netflix show on Netflix. It is number two right now. Basically, it's about this girl. She finds love online. But I guess the guy she meets is nothing like him. And I guess, well, I guess that's all there right now. But um, I'll let you know if it's any good or not. It's a comedy, so that's good. All right, guys, I finished that movie. That was a really, really good movie. It was really good. I'm very surprised how good it was for a Netflix movie. Usually Netflix movies are just okay. This was very good. I give it five out of five, guys. Really good writing, a really good story, really good actors, really good characters. Yeah, overall, just a great movie. One of the best movies I've seen in a very long time. So, guys, if you can watch it, watch it. Right now, I'm wearing Running Bear shirts. I really like it. If you want to check out the shirts, I'll leave in the link in the description. If you want to buy one of them shirts it's really cool i also like this color on me so it's about 9 30 p.m right now i'm going to clean up the house a little bit then get ready for bed um so this is going to end the weekly vlog guys hope you enjoy this weekly vlog and i'll see you next week bye